Hi all. I think I figured out a way where you can schedule a meeting that is reoccurring. You can use the same link and kids will not be able to enter the room unless you are in it and they cannot stay in the room once you have left it. But the important thing is whoever is the originator of the room, just say you're doing something combined. They're the person that has to end the meeting and they're the person who has to be in there for the meeting to start. So let me show you. I'm using the Zoom download on my computer. I don't have the app on my phone. I'm assuming it's the same, but if it's not, just download Zoom to your computer and do it from this. When you open up Zoom, you can go if you see meetings, you can look at contacts, you can look at chat, but click on home and you will go to schedule. So you can name the meeting what you want. So for example, if it is uh, Miss Claire's daily meeting, just call it that. Here, you are gonna check off recurring meeting. Don't worry about this because I'm not sure what that means and I can't figure it out and it doesn't seem to matter. You want to generate it automatically. You do not want to require a password. You want to make sure the host video is on, that the participants video is on, and they can connect audio by telephone or computer just in case the audio is a problem. Now, it says it'll put it on Google Calendar, but I discovered that it doesn't, but it doesn't matter. You can go to Advanced Options. You want to go to Advanced Options, and you want to check off Enable Waiting Room. This will allow kids to go in and get a message that the meeting hasn't started yet, and they'll be able to hang out till you get in. You do not want to enable join before host. Do not check this off because otherwise kids can get in there before you're there. If you want kids to be not talking when they get in, they, you can't hear them, you can mute them upon entry and then unmute them once they're in the room. If for some reason you want to record the meeting, I wouldn't do this here. You can always choose to record the meeting once you're in it. And then you're going to simply click schedule. You're going to message that's going to, if you haven't done it before, that's going to ask you about allowing Zoom to access Google. Just click the allow screens. And if you have multiple accounts, make sure you choose your school account. And if this asks about permissions to view and edit your calendar events, you want to allow and it will can appear on your calendar. So here's my choices that I'm allowing Zoom to do all these things with my Google Calendar. I trust Zoom and I say allow. So now, oh, so okay, you can, excuse me, I must have been doing something different before, I apologize, but it will now show up on your calendar. So what you can do is over here under does not repeat, make it for every weekday, Monday to Friday, and edit time zone. I'm in the right time zone. Now, you don't, you can add guests. If you want to add your students, all your students' names, it'll appear on their Google Calendar, and the link will be in their Google Calendar, but I'm not sure how much your kids are using Google Calendar, so that would be teaching them to do another thing. And you'd have to enter all their names. Here is the Zoom ID. This is what you can post into Google Classroom, or we can post it on the Warsh Tech website. Wherever you'd like it posted, this is the link. So I can highlight it and copy it. I can do Control C on my computer, or I can right click and do copy, and I want to save. So now when I go on my calendar or you go on your calendar, there's Miss Claire's daily meeting. And if I look, it goes on for all eternity, which is super awesome. So then what I could do then is if I'm using Google Classroom to post it, I can go to Google Classroom.
find the class that I want to post it in. And I would post things like this on your stream because that's information you want to give them rather than classwork, which eventually you will probably be putting things in classwork. And when I made my video for the students, I told them to look into stream. So what you can do right here is just say, here, here is your Zoom link for all our class meetings. You can paste the link here, control V if you want, or you can go down here and say add link and copy and paste it here, which is control V, or you can right click and paste. So you can control V or right click and paste it and then add link. And it will come up like this, it'll say launch Zoom meeting which I would prefer you to do it this way because if you do it up here, it's just the link and it's nice to see launch Zoom meeting. And you could watch your capitalization and punctuation and spelling and all that stuff for your kids. So, and then click on post. So when your kids go to click this, now if I click this and launch the meeting, it will allow me in the meeting. So you can use this link to get into the meeting as well. So it's going to launch it for me. I join with my computer audio. You'll be able to see down here the participants. Okay, so if you want to unmute them, you can do manage participants and you would see the kids' names here and you could mute all or unmute all. And if you set it to mute all when they come in, you're going to want to unmute all. And there's different features you can play with as well. We'll get more into that, but I figured this was your good introduction. Yay for reoccurring meetings.